I think this is a Final Four team. I really like UCLA. I love Lonzo Ball. Uh, and I think the baby ball, LaMelo, I think is his name, when he gets there, he's not going to be as good as this kid, but I think he'll be a great player. And then the older brother, I, I think he's got things rolling here at UCLA, but more than anything, I'm from Indiana, followed the Indiana basketball program my entire life. This program is completely different. Steve Alford, I know his ego is probably telling him, I'll go back and I'll make it the way it was. It ain't coming back. You don't think so? Butler basketball is now a national power. It never was when Bob Knight was there. They got a kid, a recruit coming into Butler next year that has no business going to Butler. Big time recruit should be at Indiana or Purdue. He's now, he wants to be the next Gordon Purdue's Hayward. Also real good. Purdue, Matt Painter has things established. It's not the same. Look at the graphic of Indiana post Bobby Knight. A lot of guys, Kelvin Sampson, uh, Mike Davis, Tom Crean have tried to resurrect. It's not coming back. They got could, one could, Final Four appearance. Could you Mike make left. the argument that Indiana basketball, and I'm not making it, is Kansas State football, that if you take out Bill Snyder, nobody's ever won there? No, no, no. Branch McCray, they, they okay. won before Bob Knight. No, right. Okay, yeah. so it's been you know, a great program. Okay, so my bad on that. Yeah. But I would still say Indiana. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a believer in this. It's fun to work at places where you matter. Ben Howland went to three straight Final Fours, could have walked through Costco across the street and nobody <laughs> knew who he was. UCLA basketball, we're in a town with 31 music venues, the beach, the mountains, eight pro teams. At Indiana, man, you matter a lot. That's a real thing, man. If, we, like, like, it's fun to work. I love football, you love yep. football. We work at Fox. Mm -hmm. It was built by the Simpsons in the NFL. Like, Indiana basketball means everything in about a two, three state radius. Uh, but, I, I, but I do think it's more pressure, though, for Steve Alford to go back and be yes. the heck. Because the, the expectations of that fan base is that you're going to win every year, especially when you have talent. I think what hurt Tom Crean is that Sweet 16, sweet 16 team with Ola Depot when they didn't make it and they got beat. To me, what offered, he was almost one foot out the door at UCLA. Oh, yeah. It, then the ball. He was apologizing he, in the paper. Exactly. So, to me, the better fit, and I said this earlier, would be Greg Marshall. Kind of outside looking in, what he's been able to build at Wichita State. The pressure that comes with being Steve Alford is tremendous, and I don't think he'll ever get a fair shot. When he gets in there, yeah, it'll be la, 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 they'll love him to death. If you don't get this recruit, if you don't beat Butler, if you play, if you don't beat Purdue. So what you're saying is for Alford, he's going to get pressure both places, but it would be way too much wait, in Indiana. Be way, here at UCLA, it's a little bit different. Because of, the, because of the factors that you stated, a lot of stuff to do, he can get away with certain things. At, at Indiana, and, and you know this, they are not going to settle for anything less than getting back into the national championship, especially with Steve Alford. But wouldn't you argue the opposite is also true? Here at UCLA, you said Ben Howland, three straight Final Fours a decade ago. Now he has a great year offered, and it's like, well, what have you done? Are you going to get to the Final Four? And then you got to deal with LeVar Ball. Did you hear him pop off about his son's high school coach? They lose their first game in 100 games, and he trashes the coach in the media and on the radio. Does Steve Alford want to deal with that? Yeah. And that's for Indiana. I do. Because Lonzo, his son's that good, and the baby one might be close to but, that. But, I would deal with but it. But remember, at Indiana, you go back. It's like the prodigal son returns. You're following Tom Crean, okay? This is not exactly Bob Knight. This is a guy who couldn't get through the Sweet 16 with two lottery picks. Well, I think it's interesting. What's really interesting to me is you just, you don't believe, you think, so what you're telling me is that, because I, I, I see Indiana as empirical. They are Kansas. They are Syracuse, they are Kentucky, they are Duke. You don't think, you're an Indianapolis native. Butler is a new dynamic that's not going away. They went to back-to-back -back Final Fours. They're put, they got two or three guys in the NBA now. They're always gonna be a factor. So, they so, weren't even on the radar when Bob Knight was around. I will say this, if you get the right coach in Indiana because of the talent base and the recruiting base, well, if you get the right coach, that's why I was talking about yeah. Greg Marshall. You get the right person, that program, it can, I, they, they, they'll it can win be, games. They, they're going to win, Remember, and they're going to be able to compete. The best recruit in Indiana is going to UCLA. He went to Steve Alford. Tom Crean didn't even want him this year. And also, hey, Michigan State has passed Indiana. Michigan, you could argue, has passed him in the Big Ten. Wisconsin. No, I'm not Wisconsin, go, I'm not, two Final Fours. I'm not going there.